Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome back to Persona 5. Uh, I almost said Royal. Uh, dancing in Starlight. What are we doing, guys? We're doing, uh, we're doing Haru Futaba. And then we're gonna go around and do the sevens, I guess. Do I need to do, I do need to do, I need to, I think I need to do the, the six. Let's look at my list of things I need to do, so. Living in luxury. Man, what? I wish, what, you were Haru and you had all that money? Oh, look, it's a house house. If I, did I ever come in here? I don't know if you come in here if you max for AS Link or you only come in here if you romance her. Well, I did, I, de I definitely did not romance Anne. No, actually, I think I went into a house uh, as a course of uh, Royal. Um, I'm not sure. What are you looking at? You're looking at all sorts of shit, aren't you? You got the horses she's got in the backyard. Dude, you seeing this shit? Her balcony's freaking huge. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty shitty balcony though. Wait, does that mean we're on a second floor? It's brick out. Is that brick out there? No, I think it's wooden slats. What the fuck? She's even got a greenhouse out there. Things bigger than my actual house. Yeah, that's. I mean, to be fair, you don't you don't live in a house, you idiot. You live in an apartment. Inside voice, Reggie. It doesn't matter. We're in a dream. Come on. Doesn't this kind of thing get your heart racing? What being in Harry's room? What? Uh. By the way, Haru. Awkward. What's that axe on the balcony for? Well, that's her. That's her axe for killing uh, zombies or whatever. Oh, that. I use it to chop wood for the fireplace. It requires a bit of a. Delicate touch. Wow. Is she is she legitimately the strongest physical character in the game? Wait, you do that yourself? I mean I know she's axe axe choppy choppy and all that, but is she strong is she like by default the strongest character? Mm-hmm. My father explicitly forbade me from it. Oh. But I always just snuck into the yard and did it anyway. Why? I suggest you try it if you ever get the chance. Uh, okay. There's this incredible satisfaction when you split a log clean in two. It's perfect for stress relief. Okay. Is that so? I, uh... Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll think about it. Loser. Dude, she's kind of scaring me right now. Just don't go making her mad, yeah? Well, I'll make her mad, all right. Mm -hmm. Did you say something? Yeah. Oh, uh, nope, nothing at all. Sure about that, Reggie. Could have sworn you were saying something. You know, I'm kind of surprised at how normal all your stuff is. What do you What do you expect? A fucking gold, gold chair, gold bed. I was expecting like gold furniture, oh my God. shiny rocks all over the place, mirrors on the walls. Well, actually, there's literally there's a vanity over there, but I think it's got a sheet over the mirror. I think, I, I think that's by design, so that they don't have to have a mirror. That's a good idea. That's smart. Um, dude, gold furniture, come on. Shiny rocks? I mean, maybe you have diamond stuff everywhere. <laughs> you must be thinking of Versailles, Ryuji. A place like that would be far too stressful for me. Yeah, what is she, Rose of Versailles? This is my one place to be relaxed in my own skin, so I wanted it to feel more comfortable. Great. What if there's some crazy treasure hidden around here, though? There could be. Oh, she's upset. That drawer is looking mighty suspicious. We wouldn't be in her room, you idiot. Sakamoto-kun? Uh-oh. <gasps> Quick, go punch him! Should a gentleman like yourself really be rummaging around an innocent woman's room? God punch. Maybe I'll fetch the axe. <gasps> No, go punch him. No, uh, it's just the room's so, uh, big. I, I, I was just trying to get a feel for the layout. Was Ryuji, like, trying to find some secret panties or something? Or was he legitimately thinking about real treasure? Mm -hmm. It's one of the smaller rooms in the house. But I guess it is large for a child. Man, 
It's not that bad. I mean, it's, I suppose it's bad for Japan, but it is. When I was little, well, I let's... In here every true. Time I came home from a let's find out how big it is, because we'll find out in a minute. Sometimes, I got so into it, my father had to scold me for making such a racket. Yeah, how much noise do you make balleting? We're jumping up and down and stuff. Yeah, you must have really loved ballet. Bet you're having a damn good time now then, huh? Yeah. Yes. It's almost like I'm going back in time. So you can't really do ballet to fucking pull sort of vibe music. A time when I dance day in and day out. Just like that beautiful ballerina in the painting. Oh yeah, is that painting here? I wanted to see it. I had really lost touch with that side of myself. I'm glad this ball has helped me remember. I don't, I don't think it's in her room. And I'm grateful well, to we're gonna find out. as well. I never would have come here and reconnected with my past if not for the Phantom Thieves. The only way to repay you now is by dancing with all of my heart. We'll get to dancing here. You're on fire, Haru. Hit me with more of them sick moves sometime. Yo, I'll hit you all right. Hey, that reminds me. I heard On mumbling earlier about wanting some lessons from you. Oh? I wonder if she's still on the dance floor. Get on the dance floor. So I need to, I need to check everyone's room to see if they have a calendar or a clock. Because we were in, what was it, Makoto's room? And it said it was the 15th of September, which Probably. Come on, let's head down there. boggles my mind because that was that was before Shido, before the casino. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That was before Ketchy. To be fair, we haven't talked about a Ketchy. We haven't actually talked about a Ketchy yet, you're right. And yet the only thing that, that made me think it was like after the game had ended was when they said, oh, Morgana, you're in your, your whatever form. But that could have just been, they were surprised. They that means that was the first time they went into the Velvet Room. Yeah, because they go into the Velvet Room, uh, when? Casino? I don't remember. And then, of course, they have no, they have no memory of this. Oh my god, that to makes total sense. For it to be, but still September is super early because fucking Haru like literally just joined. You're welcome to stay if you like, Joker. Make yourself at home. I'd have to check like when she actually decided to help us, cause I mean that day is the day that um we go into. Is my mouth moving? Ah, uh, are you serious? My mouth's not moving. Fix it next episode. I'll be back in a bit. It's so annoying. Okay, they're going now. Right, let's check it out. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I mean, it's not that. I mean, uh, it's, okay, it's kind of big. <laughs> yeah, right, it's kind of big. It's kind of big room. Where's the painting? Well, that's not the painting. No. Mmm, it's purple. Bag. It's a bit muddy. Is it? Looks like the exact same model that the other ones have. Hello, plant. Okay. Don't talk to me. So yeah, forks, another painting, some flowers and shit. Boring. It's not a super puzzle. Is that a clock? Is that like a real clock? Watering can. The watering can is hot. Oh my god. I swear to god if the game goes. Or is it half empty? Nope. Okay, so the game's narrator is optimistic, I guess. An optimist, right? I wouldn't mind incurring the wrath of a smiling hero. I'm not scared. I mean, you say it's blue, but I can totally see out there. Oh, well, god damn it. Okay, well. How? That's a weird kind of back there. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta look outside. What do you call these things? Is that an ottoman? I don't know. Nice bird. Too many fucking pillows. God, I hate having too many pillows on a fucking pillow. I don't know. 
No, it's definitely not Uncle Charles because my mother has so many fucking pillows on a goddamn guest bedroom. It's a large oil painting of a flowery landscape. Yeah, you just came in there. Hmm, don't worry. Is that a fence over there? Hmm. Ah, you're such a pussy! Well, yeah, I mean, she likes gardening, doesn't she? Holy sh- Oh my god, she does have a fucking greenhouse! Jesus Christ! Oh, she's got wood that's- Dude! Damn. It's fucking madness, dude. What's that? Like... Holy shit, bro. It's crazy. Oh, I found the gold. Yeah, this is this weird. It's not stained glass. No, it's the glass is all like that. Like weird, not broken, but like yeah, I know, expensive shit. Fine china. Sure, if actually uses this shit. Is that it? Oh, there's a flower here. Can I sit in the chair? Is that me sitting in the chair? Oh my god, it does understand if I'm sitting in the chair. Because now I can't move. I'm, I'm, I'm literally in the chair. That's cool. What a shitty table. Tea time. Who sits in. Who sits in. Who the fuck? sits in their bedroom, right, on a dedicated chair and table, sit down, dickhead, and has quote-unquote tea time. Who the fuck does this? Who would sit here in a room with no other stimulus and just drink tea? Maybe that's just, maybe that's just the ADD in my, uh, in my, in my, in my soul. Screaming, because I couldn't stand it. This is coming from a guy who like sits there, has a laptop open with like Netflix playing uh, something, or, or or YouTube playing like someone's Let's Play while I'm playing a game on the big TV, and I might be also looking at my phone or something at the same time. This is this is a guy who cannot stand to eat, like, I, I cannot stand to just sit at a table, sit down, and just, like, just eat dinner, like, with nothing, with nothing else going on. I must, at the very least, have, like, a podcast or music playing. At best, uh, have, like, a tea, something on the TV. What's with the roses? I don't know. Write in the comments if you are uh, the same as me. Is that a red sheet? It is a red sheet over. Why would you put a sheet over? So you don't look at yourself in the in the mirror when you're sleeping. But what happens if you mirrors are good for bed bedtime? Yeah, put some mirrors on the ceiling. Not God damn it! That's not what we're talking about. All right, we're done here. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Hey. Nice. We got some shit, bro. We do have some shit. What time is it? Uh, I might stop. Alright. We'll come back and we'll do Fadaba next time. Uh, but for now, my name is Leo, and I'll see you.